So I'm going to start out with my favorite childhood memory. When I was six years old, I hiked to Galveston. When I got there, I looked out across the beach, and I said, hey, I want to go deep sea fishing. So like any rational person, I pulled a yacht out of my back pocket, and I threw it out on the water, and out I went. After venturing out into the ocean, my yacht ran out of gas, and I was stuck in the middle. Luckily. A bright orange orca whale comes by and asks me if I need any help. So I tethered my boat to his body, and he took me safely back to shore. Now, obviously that was a lie, and this picture's a lie. How many of you guys have been told a crazy story like that? Exactly. Now, those people that tell you those stories, they're actually susceptible to coronary artery disease, a stroke, because lying triggers the release of stress hormones in your body, increasing um, blood pressure, increasing heart rate, decreasing digestion. This causes health effects in your body. Now, this is most easily seen in examining politicians. <laughs> Many politicians, um, before going to Washington, have that healthy glow in their body, they're excited, but after they come back, they've gone bald, lost or gained a significant amount of weight, and they're not that same rosy-cheeked, excited people that they had left with. This frequent line that you see takes its toll on your body. Now, you may be thinking, I'm not a habitual liar, why do I care about this? Robert Feldman conducted a study in which two strangers were asked to speak for, two, for 10 minutes. After the conversation, it was recorded and reviewed. Before reviewing the conversation, people assured the team, I told the truth, I was the complete truth the whole time. But after watching it, they were astonished to see the number of lies that just slipped out during their conversation. 60% of the people told at least one lie, and an average of three lies were told in the conversation. These little white lies are very detrimental to your body because the mental and physical energy it takes to maintain these two conflicting thoughts cause a strain on your body, and this leads to the health effects. As an 18-year-old in the age of technology, I can be whoever I want. Just a few simple keystrokes, and I'm Julie Smith from Nebraska, who loves fine dining and long walks on the beach. You can post a face a fake relationship status, you can bend the truth in your tweet. This virtual lying is just as detrimental to your health as traditional lying. With innovations in science, research, and technology, lies spread on the internet like wildfire. Now, if you don't want to raise your hand, it's okay, but who has maybe exaggerated or bent the truth or kind of said something? I've done it. Everyone's done it. We... <laughs> Thank you, thank you for being honest. <laughs> we need to be aware of this physical impact that it has on our body, because it's just as easy to just make a post on the computer and just poof, it goes away. But that impact stays on your body, and it can cause health effects. We must shift our focus from our Facebook status to our health status. Thank you.